Professor Clemens with you as we consider an example problem with geometrical objects looking to calculate where an image is formed, calculate the magnification, calculate the height of the image, and also do the ray tracing to locate the image. And I'm actually going to start with the ray tracing. So we have a converging lens here, thicker in the middle than at the edge. It's converging. Focal length is 12 centimeters, so I've marked the two foci. And if you, as you see a ruler come across here, um, I've had to compress the, uh, the drawing here. So one centimeter uh, on my ruler is actually four centimeters for the numbers in the problem, just to make it fit on a page. Um, we have an object that's 30 centimeters um, off to the left. So I'm going to just jot down some of those numbers. You know, 12 centimeters here, 30 centimeters to the uh, position where the object is located. And we have a height of 4 centimeters. And I think I used a different uh, scale for the height just to make an object that's uh, easy enough to see. So let's do the ray tracing. I'm going to use rule number one to start with. So I'm going to bring a ray in parallel to the optic axis. Some people call it the principal axis. So from I'm only going to ray trace to locate the tip of the arrow. That's all we need to do. So I bring it to the lens. Rule number one says a ray that comes in parallel to the optic axis uh, will be bent and sent to through the focal point. So I'm going to uh, line that up, draw a nice long line for that ray continuing off to the right. Rule number two says if I take a ray and pass it through the center of the lens, it goes through without changing direction. So let's go ahead and uh, use rule number two. I come from that same point at the top of the object, passing through the, uh, the center of the lens making a straight line, and there we found our image. When we get two rays to cross, we've located the image. Um, I could use rule number three. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that. Rule number three, if we pass light through the focal point before hitting the lens, then that, lens, that light comes out parallel to the optic axis over here and more or less parallel set that up and again it agrees with the uh, crossing point from the first two rays so there's our image if I, as i look at it, it looks like it's going to be a little smaller uh, 12 is here so some uh, number beyond 12 is where we expect the image to be located so now it's time to do the calculation and our lenses and mirrors all are analyzed with this equation. 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance equals 1 over the focal length. In this problem, we were given the object distance, so 1 over 30. We're trying to calculate the image distance, so that's unknown. And then we had 12 centimeters for the focal length. It's a converging lens, so the focal length is a positive number. It's time to pull out the calculators and solve this. I start by subtracting the 1 over 30 from both sides. The 1 over di equals 1 over 12 minus 1 over 30. And pulling out the calculator, you should check this on your own calculator, of course. 1 over di I found to be 0 0.05. I can't stop there. I need the value of di. So I have to invert both sides. If you want to, you can think of this 0 0.05 as being over 1. So now let's invert both sides. I'd have di over 1 equals 1 over 0 0.05. And here again, I have opportunity to use a calculator. And I came up with a value for di of 20 centimeters. And we can kind of roughly check that. Um, and not too bad. I'm uh, right at 5 centimeters on my ruler. That's uh, 
multiplied by four, that's 20 centimeters. Now, what about the magnification? Well, the magnification is always a negative of the image distance divided by the object distance. And we have those numbers now. So a minus sign, the image distance is 20. The object distance is 30. And I have to have the same units for both of these. Uh, so centimeters and divided by centimeters. And doing that division, I get uh, a minus sign 0.667. So the height of the image is equal to the magnification multiplied by the height of the object. Bring that fully into view. Height of the image is magnification multiplied by height of the object. So we have the magnification number minus 0 0.667. We have given the height of the object is 4 centimeters. And multiplying those together, I came up with minus 2.67 centimeters, smaller than the object, and that agrees with the ray tracing. The uh, image I have here is smaller than the object. And uh, just one last thing to consider, the minus sign. When we have a minus sign here, that tells us that our image is inverted. It's upside down. And we can see that in the diagram. Our object arrow is pointing upward. Our image arrow is pointing downward. Another thing to talk about here, these rays actually cross. So there's energy leaving the object arrow, light reflecting off of here, passing through our lens and then being regathered. This is a real image as opposed to a virtual image a real image, there's an actual concentration of the energy. So we're getting light uh, brought to a focus there. Oh, well, that's our example of an image formed by a converging lens and the ray tracing that goes with that.